time back here at the house the trip is over um, I want to do this video um, you know rather than doing separate videos for whatever it may be a satellite dish a water pump um, I'm I'm gonna try and give give you a, especially for new RVers a sense of what it's like when you're you know in between trips non full-timer and you have to just get things done uh, I've got another trip in about a week uh, just a kind of a fishing trip um, coming up so needed to get this stuff stuff done either way um, I just got back from uh, the AAA office uh, we don't really have AAA insurance but we have a AAA card for towing um, and a big one I just used for the first time and please leave a comment below if you've used this or not and may help you um, is their uh, ability to uh, do DMV transactions and it's, it's a great thing no line walked right up um, you know you know I couldn't believe it versus the DMV you know how long it takes sometimes you know um, it's just a nightmare um, but that it was great so that's that's one thing if I can pass along to you guys um, I'm getting ready to get my mobile sewage tank um, I'm gonna unbox it here I'll do maybe just a quick minute unboxing it load it up and we'll go down to the storage and uh, dump it got to dump it um, didn't do it last time I'll be, I'll be able to also use this I want to eventually get into some boondocking I'm not gonna do right now but um, I, I figure it's a little easier than having to pull it out for every little thing even out of storage um, the backup situation is not that great and um, I guess it's more of an excuse just to have one down the road so uh, also do have a water pump issue uh, turn it on this is one thing from our big trip if you guys were tagged along on that check out that video um, but this this uh, water issue is essentially you turn on the water pump and water just spews out of the uh, water port which you would fill the tank with which is strange um, no I'm sorry city water city water it spews out of so I think I got a fix for that I'm gonna try um, we can the fix is to turn on the pump which I'm gonna lose some water doing this but then go to each faucet and turn it on to see if it's an air uh, problem within the the diaphragm of the uh, pump itself now if that doesn't work I may be looking at a new pump or have to continue to troubleshoot uh, it's fine on the sewer lines or I'm sorry the sewer lines the water regular water city water everything's fine but uh, you know nothing spewing out obviously the water pumps off but it's strange as soon as you turn on the water pump leave a comment below maybe you guys have heard of this um, as soon as you turn on the water pump uh, right out of that line that same line that you would connect the city water um, water comes spewing out so not sure you know I think I found some YouTube videos on it I'm gonna give some a try the turn on every valve thing and then um, one other thing that happened besides the water tank the water pump on the trip was we lost a refrigerator cover on the back side uh, it's like a black cover that covers up all the components and whatnot it uh, came off somewhere on the last leg of the trip we noticed it when we got home so if those are the two things that went wrong, uh, that's not too bad. I can live with that, that's what I'm trying to say. So anyhow, I'm gonna unbox this tank, um, load it up, and then I'll, I'll start the video back up down there uh, while I'm kind of working on some of this stuff. You know, again, if you're new to RVing, this is kind of how it goes. It's not, I mean, maybe some people operate that way. They do one project at a time, but, um, I find it's easier especially if you got it in storage which many people do um, I'm sure many people have it on their own property whatever their situation is their RVs I'm saying um, and they're able to kind of do one project at a time but I'm kind of doing multiples um, 
the emptying of the tanks that's pretty straightforward that should be pretty simple there's a lot of videos on that but i'll still uh show a little bit of that just to throw it in but um again uh just want to give you that triple a trip and i'll continue on here in a minute and okay, pause you guys uh, here it is the rhino tote tank 36 gallon so picked it up on amazon link below as usual getting ready to unbox it and uh, pretty much know what parts should be in here i'll do a quick thing of it oh matter of fact there's there's the parts right there um, you could. so i expect to see all those all those parts in in there um, so that's pretty much it yeah this will be again the rhino tote tank mobile portable rv waste tank um, 36 gallons I went with that because we got 40 gallon black and gray so thinking is if they're half full this will hold all of it not that it ever want to totally full fill this thing but uh, anyhow let me get this cardboard off and we'll continue okay guys there it is and uh, it's bigger than what I expected but again, if I'm dumping 50% uh, black, 50% gray, it should hold it. So um, here's the parts that came with it over here. Uh, you got your standard sewer line and then caps that, um, you know, your clear hook up to. Uh, regular dump station here and then this hooks up to your RV and then you got caps which is nice and then to rinse it out they give you one of these too which is great uh, and then on this side you got your standard once you go to dump it you lift this up and that you know you dump it into the park system the RV system uh, dump station obviously remove this cap first but this is where it hooks up to your uh, RV with that hose over here pretty straightforward and this is where you rinse and uh, also you can uh, pull that cap off and it will actually uh, drain out a little quicker it's like an air this one here it's like an air release uh, one thing I did hear about these is the wheels are not the greatest somebody actually put a um, like a clip on the outside of that right there to hold it on better that's not a bad idea I might do that um, this part here actually goes on the front it allows you to tow it over to the um, wherever you may need to dump from. So you hook it up to the ball of your truck, and that's pretty much it. So, again, the Rhino Tote Tank um, unboxed, and we'll put it into action here in a minute. See you guys in a few. All right, guys, here it is in use. I decided to use my own lines for now. Why dirty that one? I'll use it as a spare. So it's going right in there. I just used a regular pipe, which fits, uh, that normally goes into the um, RV dump station. Uh, seems to be working fine so far, guys. Again, there's not much to these and I'll pick it up in a minute when I go to to dump it and actually rinse it out all right guys <clears throat> I made it back that was uh not too bad 
actually got it uh, pumps the uh, tanks all drained into the new mobile portable dump tank um, I included a few pictures here the final part was just me putting rinsing it out no big deal probably should be rinsed out every time depending I guess where you keep it uh, you know do we rinse RV tanks out every time no I mean we film as much as we can we all know how to do that part and you know pull the black then pull the gray but the inside of the tanks you know it's kind of like the portable tank it's easier to rinse out matter of fact the fitting looks the same as it does in the RV for as far as getting water into the tank and uh, rinsing it out so anyhow it's a done deal I'm back here now contemplating my next project taking a little breather um, it's which is putting the black um, cover on for the uh, RV uh, refrigerator that fell off on the last leg of our trip I mentioned a few minutes ago so anywho um, yeah I just wanted to go into not a rant but just kind of a uh, little spiel I guess you could say about oh just prepping and uh, you know the DMV I mentioned earlier which worked out great the AAA uh, should have done had that service years ago I don't know why we hesitated and waited on that you know um, I think the towing portion is minimal it's maybe ten dollars a month or something um, which is nice to have and then the extra benefits I think we used AAA on our last trip and received a 10% discount. Um, I don't think it was either, either Good Sam or AAA. I was pretty sure it was AAA. So, I mean, up and above the discounts and uh, the DMV thing, the, the time saving, uh, especially right now with everything going on, it, you can't really put a price on that because I'm sure regular DMV lines are backlogged. Leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, it's, this thing's due in about 10 days, um, getting ready to take the trip and didn't want to, you know, take a trip and then have an expired tag and have an issue there. So we're good to go. Um, and, uh, oh, okay. Here's what else happened guys with the water, uh, heater, or not the water heater, the water pump, um, Okay, so I tried what I thought it was. Um, water is actually coming out of where you hook up the city water to, that connector. I'll put a picture here, screen. Um, so it's, water is actually coming out of that. And I tried turning on uh, the YouTube videos I found. Talked about turning on the pump, which immediately in this scenario... Water is flowing out of that city connector on the RV, but I still let, I just let it flow out and I went to each, um, only now I think about it, the only one I didn't try was the shower, but I went to every faucet and outside faucet and turned them on and supposedly according to the videos and information I found, it's supposed to kick out any air in the line and free up the valve. Didn't work. So I'm kind of back to square one with that. And this this is how it goes, guys. It's <clears throat> it's no you know this this is the um, this is the hobby. This is the game, if you will. If you're into RVing, um, unless you have the money to take it into the shop every time, you know I think some of this smaller stuff, and it may get to that point. I th actually think I'm going to try and find a mobile person, even though I'm not technically full time and. Um, I just feel I used one years ago for another travel trailer we had and I found some that was really good and I'm going to either try and find that person or somebody that's reliable. Um, I just feel like actually I used them a couple years ago. Now I think about it uh, when I had the RV in Texas for a while, um, staying out there for a while and doing some work and whatnot, but it, I had a mobile RV guy that fixed a actually of all things it was now now i'm thinking back it's all coming back to me it was a uh, 
a leak I had in the bathroom and it was flowing. There's a storage cabinet in there um, near the, the toilet or across from the toilet near the shower. It's where all the water works are. And water was just not heavily, but it was kind of flowing through there. And I got a hold of this mobile person and he, um, he was able to get it hooked up. There was some line in there that popped and he fixed all that. Um, did a great job and he turned it all in and under warranty. Uh, at the time it still had warranty and yeah, it worked great. Um, so in this case, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to attempt another fixed attempt at the water pump. Now, if it's on city water, it's fine. So, for this next trip, do I really need the water pump? I mean, we could still use it. Just water flows out of there. I mean, it use, it probably loses about, I don't know, for every minute worth of run time, it loses maybe a third of a gallon. It's not much. It's not a ton of water. So, you could still flush a toilet. You know, all we did was have an extra person on the pump switch. Someone went to the toilet, so it hit it, turned it back off little bit of a pain but you got to do what you got to do sometimes but hopefully i'll get it fixed before that i mean it's not ideal the solution to uh do that so anyhow um so that's the other project i did i didn't show any of that because it was pretty simple turning on faucets um not terribly hard to do turning on the pump and turning on faucets more troubleshooting than anything if anybody else has had that problem, please leave a comment below. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, uh, in all the ones, water pumps ones I've found are either similar problem where the faucets turning on have fixed it, or they've actually replaced their water pump. That's what mostly they're about. Uh, this is a little different because it's coming out of the city water one. Yeah. Um, so I might trace some lines. Do some more research and make another go of that one too um but yeah i actually think i'll attempt that um refrigerator outside cover uh it shouldn't be too bad i have i think the necessary bolts and equipment and i'll bring you guys back online in a minute once i kind of unbox everything see you in a minute guys all right guys so i'm already looking at this thing and it looks like it's too big let's get over here and find out that's what my temporary solution was how do you like that guys <laughs> quick rv refrigerator cover is a tote lid with two screws just barely pushed in but it worked well y'all be darned it looks like this will fit. I didn't think it was that big. Should have brought my other camera. If you guys can see that. All right, let me bring it back around and start getting it ready. So this is just a, again, another refrigerator cover I picked up on Amazon. Link below as usual. Hold on one second, guys. All right, guys. Uh, that was too big. Uh, the refrigerator cover and that's how it goes I measured I double checked on Amazon and I don't know if they sent the wrong size or if I didn't measure right so it's got to go back so this is how it goes uh, if anybody really kind of does a video and it's they show it as perfect I guarantee almost 95% of the time uh, maybe less than that I may be over exaggerating a bit but a lot of times there's going to be issues. Um, <clears throat> those may or may not be shown on somebody's video, or then maybe they'll say there was some issues. But uh, for me, uh, I know, and sometimes it takes a couple times. And I venture to say there's other people out there. It's kind of the same way. Um, don't feel bad about it. It's just how it goes. And uh, I may get to a point, and I'll admit this too, I'm just going to have the mobile guy come in. And luckily um kind of have the means to be able to do that you know i'm bragging at all but you know i you know i couldn't go out and spend thousands on it and obviously if i did that i'd probably get a new rig 
but you know i'm gonna probably get to a point where it's a time versus money thing really and if someone can come out and really especially the water pump um it's getting to a point where i really do want it to get it fixed but i'll give it one or two more goes just like if you saw the other videos we did with the uh solar controller um it went back and forth on that thing with error codes and everything else and finally got it and ended up being the battery so went with the agm i'd like to add two of those as a side note eventually that that's pretty much it guys um again the triple a five thumbs whatever it takes five stars thumbs up for them and their dmv service that came through that really allows this trip to happen that's coming up i got about uh actually i got less i got a less than a week now so if i can't come up probably with a quick solution to this um water pump issue again leave a comment to any of this guys down below let me know i will probably find a mobile person um you know, I just don't want someone with a good reputation. I'll, and I'll use Yelp. I'll look on Yelp and Google and I'll look at their reviews and see if they're current. You know, that's, I'll, I'll see if their if reviews are current and then I'll look at the one star reviews, you know, and see kind of how old they are. And if they show a consistent running theme over and over, uh, that's how I pretty much anything I look for. Either it be a part on Amazon, a, service a restaurant you know whatever it may be i i've a couple times lately we went to restaurants as a complete side note that has nothing really to do with rv but matter of fact it was on the last trip and we actually ate a restaurant it was horrible service um and my wife's burger was way undercooked well come to find out on the reviews other people had the same complaint you know if i would have took five minutes you know, a lot of times, hey, we were just hungry, we wanted to get in the restaurant, get some drink, get some food going, you know how it goes. We were beat. Um matter of fact, it was the same day we went to Mount Rushmore. And uh we were coming coming back and uh I think we had seen one other site in between there, that Custer's uh monument up there. A uh, crazy horse, I'm sorry, crazy horse monument. Um, which is great too. Mount Rushmore is great. And then we were in the town of Custer. We we're going to eat. I won't name the place. I don't want to go down that. But uh, yeah, it was a restaurant we found. And that's how it goes. You know, when you're out somewhere, you, you know, you get, should check reviews at all times, you know. Um, so, anyways, yeah, that's how I will probably find my mobile person if I go that route. It, it's kind of leaning that way because I'm going to run out of time. Um, I'd like to have both those fixed. Um, up and above, I'm going to take another look at the tires. I had a, I think I mentioned to you guys, I had a little flat spot on one of them. Well, I had a tire service come out before the last trip. Yeah, it's a mobile tire, tire service. They had originally put these tires on at the, the one time I did go into the dealer. And... It was a reasonable price, but the guy told me it was a mobile guy he uses, so I called him when one of them went flat, which was my fault. I had one of the I had the brake uh, controller set too much, and that I can do another video on that too, guys, um, on your brake controller. That that's what I love about this channel. It's about the truck and the trailer. So uh, anyhow, they came out, they switched that tire out, they rotated the tires on the truck before the last trip so i think the truck's good to go i want to take a look at another look at the trailer tires and make sure i didn't have it uh, set too high i was really aware of it and made sure i kept a good eye on it every time we took off i double check it um so i think we're good to go there it's kind of controller can be kind of interesting by the way um they it seems like every time you hook them up the brake controller it gets a different setting and again, leave a comment below. Maybe something I'm not doing on the Ram 2500 HD diesel, um, 2019. Uh, I know there's a setup thing, and I saw it in there. And maybe that's what I need to do: is go through the setup thing uh, on the screens to set up this trailer. And maybe that's something I'm missing. I haven't done. I'm not claiming to know. You know, I'm not a beginner, but I'm still learning all the time. And I think a lot of people take that approach. There's a lot to RVing. 
there's a lot to trailering there's a lot to the truck part so we're learning all the time and that's what makes it interesting too but just to let you guys know yeah um gonna really keep an eye on your trailers you know the your trailer your tires those are the main things brakes i mean even think about taking the truck in just to get the brakes looked at um because it's done we've done some couple pretty long toes this one we racked up about three thousand miles on um so i mean to me that's a lot of towing maybe other people it's not uh, and then we had another trip that was probably close to a thousand miles so total we're probably looking at five thousand miles towing um the trucks you know we bought it at carmax used with about uh twelve thousand miles on it or so no actually i think it was ten thousand i know that they maybe inspected the brakes but i know for sure they didn't touch them um and now we're at nineteen thousand on the truck so you know might want to i think i'll have my guy just take a just take a quick look at them make sure they're good to go um anyhow stuff like that you know big stuff you want to keep because it is so much weight going down the road you got ten thousand pounds on the truck and in this trailer it's another ten thousand pounds so that's that's twenty thousand pounds rolling down the road you know you gotta you gotta think about those parts you know safety first but um and that that kind of gets into why you're going through your maintenance routines keep you know if it's something that can wait and there's a safety item that needs to be looked at first do the safety item first that's <laughs> that's just a no-brainer um so and you, as you you know go through these you'll you'll see how it goes if you may be new to RVing, uh you'll get a you'll get a feel for um you know how these uh trips getting ready for these trips go you know i make a list i'm sure you'll make your own list you know i make it before i go out the door because half the time i forget a bunch of stuff that reminds me i just reminded myself i have a list of stuff i need to get out of here uh for some of my family members my daughter and my wife specifically um asked for some stuff out of here so that's how it goes make I, I suggest making lists um you know and working from them because otherwise you know you'll forget something when you go pick up the rv or you go back to your house blah 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 so it's a good way to do it anyways this video is getting probably getting pretty long at this point um it's glad to be back after the last trip i can say that um it was a great trip we feel really blessed to be able to have done it um no issues with the rv really other than those couple little things water pump and the uh cover um had a great time saw a lot uh we were supposed to go to yellowstone we kind of cut that short just due to time and uh just you know that's another part guys riding riding in the the truck on some of these long trips um you got to take that into account you know we we planned this thing out and we were doing one day here two days and another and we started realizing, you know, weather kind of got in the middle of it too during the trip. <clears throat> there was a snowstorm that came through. I think I talked about that. We kind of waited it out, and I'm really glad we did because there was quite a few accidents up towards Wyoming. Um, and we waited it out, but the other part is we almost found out that, you know, even two days when you get to your destination is not enough. So we extended that out to five days at one one area and that was way i'm really glad we did that we got to decompress um then on the way back we just pushed it a little bit harder to get back but we were already used to riding in the you know in the vehicle for a long time so it wasn't that bad but plus people were just i guess kind of relieved we were going home at that point too but it was uh again keep that stuff in consideration when you do travel um you know, it's it's great to try and rush it and see all this, but keep it, in, especially with you, a travel trailer, or an RV, maybe it's easier on a Class A. I don't know, guys. Maybe you just pull in, you hit the levelers. Boy, that sounds nice. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I had my son in, son in love helping me. Uh, my daughter's boyfriend, that's what I call him. Um, he was helping me tear down break you know set up tear down you know if i 
if I would have been doing, you know, so a couple of times I did it mostly by myself, but, uh, you know, if you're by yourself doing this, you got to remember you're, you go in the spot one day, you're, you're tearing back down the next. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine and dandy and all, but you got to try and allow yourself to enjoy an area too. Uh, what we determined is, say, we're going to go back, schedule it next year. We're going to go to Yellowstone next year. Um, no biggie. You know, we saw Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, that whole area. Um, then we shot over the horseshoe down in Arizona and basically home. So, yeah, I mean, we want to see Yellowstone next year and we'll we'll plan it. You know, maybe we'll do five days in Yellowstone, too. And take our time going up there, you know, because you got to remember that uh, once you get up, set up, it's you want to enjoy the area, too. Um, you know, that's that's why some of these parks where it has 11 o'clock checkout, I think that's the earliest I've seen. And you check in late, you got to check out that early. You're not going to you're not going to see much of the area. Very, very little. Uh, so, again, keep that stuff in mind when you're planning your trips. You know, when you're new to RVing or you haven't, uh, maybe maybe you've only taken a couple day trip, which is great. Hey, couple day trips are great. They're fun. Everyone should do them. But, you know, until you take a longer trip. And I think if that's one thing I learned about this last 10, I think it was almost 10, yeah, it was 10 days, which was long for us. I mean, if you're a full-timer, they, that's nothing, I'm sure. But I think a lot of those guys stay in one spot for at least two weeks not longer i think they're kind of learning the same thing they don't want to they don't want to be jumping around all over for one thing it costs more fuel you know um so anyhow that's my rant uh that's my projects i attempted today i uh, hope someone got something out of it great thanks for all the subscribers thanks for all the likes um you know just really do these more than anything just to uh as a you know kind of a really a hobby and uh, to help someone out. And again, I just, I just enjoy doing them. I kind of make them like making the videos and, um, uh, you know, meeting you guys too. So anyhow, uh, I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a blessed week and I'll talk to you soon.